Hello friends, my name is Jay Prakash and today I am presenting LVM Logical Volume Manager in Linux. So, what is LVM? LVM is Logical Volume Manager. It means it's a partitioning tool in Linux. So, there are two different type of partitioning tools available in Linux. One is kind of uh, FDisk, another is uh, your Parted. These are some standard, it creates some standard partitions. On top of those raw partitions, you create file system. But LVM is an advanced level of partitioning tool where you can create some logical volumes on those raw partitions. And on top of these logical volumes, you create a file system to make use of it. So this LVM layer gives you a very flexible management facility where you can manage your partitions on the fly. So let's see how it works. Why LVM? So there are many advantages with LVM. If we go with LVM, there are many advantages. The first one is easy online expansion of a partition. So let's suppose if you have created a raw partition from FDisk or parted you cannot expand that partition they have their own limitations but on top of those raw partitions we have created LVM logical volumes you have a facility that you can increase a volume partition on the fly the system is online your partition the data is being used by any application or data you can increase it at any point of time you are facing any problem related to low disk space let's suppose any of your partition where opt or any database partition is about to full and you are asked to expand it so if you have a free space on your server on your system you can increase it at any moment second one is reduce partition size so at any moment if you find someday like some of your partition size is very big and they don't have uh, use of it they have very less data and some other partitions you have which has a limited partition size but they may get more data so in that case you can reduce a partition size which is not is using not in uh, in more use and you can give that space to another partition which will require space in future so another thing you can reduce a partition size and give it to another part another volume third one is larger size partition so in some cases let's suppose if you have uh, limited tb hard drives in your linux system and you want a larger partition if larger volume for your database or any kind of data dumping purpose archiving purpose in that case you will if you create a simple partition you will not get much larger partition volume using LVM you can club multiple drives multiple raw partitions and create a very big and large volume so we'll see how it works in uh, in next slides so now the thing is how lvm works so lvm works in three different stages the first stage of uh, lvm is physical volume so when you create a raw you need to create a raw partition through fdisk or parted utility on top of that you uh, you need to convert that particular raw partition as a physical volume if you don't do this you will not be able to create logical volume so the first stage or first step is to create a raw partition and convert it to a physical volume so this raw partition can be from your existing hard drive and this raw partition can be from a newly added hard drive the second step is volume group once you have created a physical volume or multiple physical volumes you need to create a volume group volume group means a group of single or multiple physical volumes 
you will have multiple physical volumes club it and create a group of uh, these physical volumes the, the third step is creating logical volumes these are the volumes where you are going to create file system and put your data so on on a higher capacity volume group you have a facility to create multiple logical volumes or a single large logical volume according to your requirement let's understand it in graphical way so the design is you have a linux pc it could be your laptop desktop or a server on top in this system you have one hard drive usually it is called sda the first disk is a second disk would be b third disk would be c so you have sda means you have one disk on top of this let's suppose you have created a boot partition a swap partition and the third one if you want to create a logical volume the third one you create a physical volume so this partition could would be sda3 so here i have one physical volume on top of it i'll create a volume group and add this physical volume to this group and top of this volume group will create multiple logical volumes as per our requirement so this is a general scenario for a normal system now when the space is less now you want to grow the space of a logical volume so how it will happen you need to add one more hard drive in your system you have added one more drive the name is sdb on top of this you have created a raw volume and you have converted it to a physical volume the volume uh, physical volume is sdb1 now you don't need to create another volume group you have facility to expand existing volume group by adding newly created physical volume so here the volume group will be remain same you have added this physical volume to this uh, volume group now you have facility to create more logical volumes or you have facility to increase the existing logical volume size so here you can see we have extended one logical volume and we have created one more logical volume according to your requirement so, so this is the theory now i'll show you how practically you can use it on a linux command here i am going to use a centos 7 for the practical session